Okay, everybody, today I'm going to work on my old Black & Decker circular saw. It's a model 7391 Type 4. It's a seven and a quarter inch circular saw. And I think it's probably about 30 years old. I've had this thing helping me make new fences. I've built a deck, lots of other miscellaneous projects. It's been a great workhorse circular saw. And now it has developed sort of an issue with uh, how it stops actually it runs fine and I want to show you what it does when it's stopping because it's a little unusual but I think I know what's wrong and admittedly I've already actually been in here and I have found the problem so I'll show you guys how to get in there and basically it's a lubrication problem so I'm gonna put the goggles on and I'm gonna fire this up for a minute it's gonna be really loud but listen when it's stopping what the, what it does okay here we go So it has this heavy vibration when it's stopping, and I think it's because the lubrication is dried out. It's been in San Diego for 30 years. It's really dry here, it gets really hot. And so a quick and easy lubrication job on this might make this thing much happier. So I'm gonna start taking it apart and we'll see what we've got. So the first thing to do is to take off the blade, of course. So this is the outer blade holder washer, if you will. And then when you get the blade off, there is an inner holding washer right here. Now I've already been in here, I've cleaned it all up. This was just gunked with sawdust. So I had to kind of wedge this off with a screwdriver, but, but so you'll have to do that if yours is dirty like mine was. <clears throat> now the next part to take off is this lower blade guard and it's held in with this snap ring and it's pretty tricky to get out you have to have a couple of really sharp tools like this and this or maybe a small screwdriver and you just have to start wedging it off and beware it's a spring so as soon as it comes loose it might want to fly across the room there we go okay it started Okay, that's the snap ring. Now this comes out. <clears throat> and beware that there is a spring on the back side that will come, come right out. You don't need to take it apart, but it will come off. So we'll leave that together. Okay, now we're into this part, which is the cover plate over the gearbox. So we can just go right into that and take those four screws out. Again, this was all gunked up. I had to brush this a lot to clean it up. You definitely want to make sure you don't have a bunch of sawdust that's going to get inside this gearbox once you pull this off. So now this comes off. And notice I didn't have to take any of this off. I didn't have to take anything else off, just straight into the gearbox. And the first indicator is this grease is all dried up. It looks dirty and bad, so we're gonna have to clean that up. The sleeve bearing here looks like it's in pretty good shape. This is replaceable, but I'm assuming that's not the problem. <clears throat> and this is the main gear. So this is the, the blade gear, and it's driven by the pinion gear on the motor shaft, which is the small gear here. So the motor's geared down, of course. So the motor runs a lot faster than the blade itself. Uh, as you can see here, this thing looks in pretty good shape, except it's dry as a bone. Um, <clears throat> now there's the other end of the shaft that I want to do also. So before I lubricate this, I'm going to show you the other side. None of this will fall apart. Okay, so on the other side, this is the other end of the motor shaft, and it's really easy to get into it. So we'll go in here, but I do want to make sure you're aware there are two little rubber plugs that push against the brushes, you'll, you'll see. So these screws are longer than the other screws, so it's easy to tell what's what. These are long screws. So now, I highly recommend when you're taking this cover off that you hold the saw like this 
and take this off because there are these two rubber plugs that just fall right out of these two holes and if you if they fall out while you're pulling the cover off they could fall down in there and that's down inside the motor and they could get lost down in there and you'd have to do a lot more dismantling to get them out so i would definitely recommend taking it apart like i did upside down these two little rubber plugs are important they push the cover pushes on those and they push on the two brushes that are these two pieces here my brushes look like they're probably fine i don't think this thing has a brush problem there's other videos on how to replace the brushes i'm not going to go there i'm just doing a lubrication maintenance right now so i don't know if this is a sealed bearing or not um, it's 30 years old so i'm squirting a little oil on it and it just conveniently stays in that little cup right there and then you can reach in and turn the motor and it turns quite easily so i don't think the bearing was a problem but i've got it lubricated anyway just in case okay so that's that end we're just going to put that right back together again right now so to do that we take the two plugs the two rubber plugs put those in here and then put the motor on top of them so they don't fall out i think it's just it feels weird but i think it's because i'm push pushing those plugs together yep okay so those plugs want to push the thing apart and that means they're working so then we just put the screws in and hold it down I like the ratchets on an adjustable drill like this to give up quite easily and then I like to finish it by hand because I my hand is calibrated. I know how tight the screw should be and I don't want it to be overly tightened by the drill. All right. <clears throat> now back to this side. We're going to clean up this this mess here. So first of all, we'll just scrape it out with the screwdriver. And this grease, you know, it's still grease. There wasn't enough of it. And it's old, so I'm going to replace it with new, beautiful grease. All right, good enough. Okay, and then on this cover plate, this needs to go away. Okay. I don't see any metal shavings. I don't think anything is failing here at all. There are, like I said, there are bushings that could be replaced. Um, not necessary with this saw. Okay. This is some fancy schmancy grease. We don't, you don't, any kind of grease will be fine. You don't need the super duper stuff, but it doesn't hurt. <laughs> so liberally coat every surface of the main gear. Just get it everywhere. You don't need it inside the threads, but basically just all over it. And similar thing here, we're going to get this just filled with grease, almost filled with grease, maybe a little bit of space. I want it to the point where it kind of starts squishing out when I put this gear in there. It didn't really squish out a lot. Ah, well, I think it's good enough. Okay, and then I'm going to load this up with some grease. Okay, so we are ready for the screws. So the spring has this little end on it. 
that needs to fit into this little groove right here, right in there. And it's only going to go if you rotate the guard far enough counterclockwise. It'll, it's only going to go into that little groove if you remove this bumper. And so this bumper is a size 30 Torx driver. So we're going to take that off. Now I can rotate this guard all the way counterclockwise. And boom, I heard the spring snap into that little groove. And now, sure enough, it's working. Okay, so we've got that fixed back together again. And now the hard part is to get this clip ring on. Okay, so um, to get this snap ring back on again, you have to start it at one corner. There's probably different ways to do it, but this is how I found that works. Two shorty flathead screwdrivers. Get the first corner started, which it is right now. Then while you're holding it down with one screwdriver, you press it down with the other one. And then sort of work your way around. Almost there. And there. Yep, okay, that's good. So that's the trickiest part, that snap ring right there. Okay, now that that's in, and the spring is in its little groove, we can put the bumper back on again. Okay, and then the rest of it's quite easy. And that should be it. So we'll plug it in and see if it's any better. Okay, here we go. Beautiful.